Hello friends, welcome back to another video. If you're new and not subscribed, I'm Kayla Bame and you should really think about subscribing to my channel because the greatest things in the world happen when you do that. So, subscribe. For today's video, I'm going to be doing something that I have wanted to do for so long now. The only issue was is that I just didn't have literally the one thing I needed to do it. So I went out and got it. So now I can do it. A really long time ago, well, I don't think it was a really long time ago. I think it was like last month. When it was Mother's Day, I recreated one of my mom's... <clears throat> Sorry. I'm sick right now, if you can't tell. Totally good, though. When it was around Mother's Day, I recreated one of my mom's Mother's Day DIYs that she had done a long time ago. And a portion of the DIY was actually melting crayons on a canvas board and there was more to it it was like a very small portion where you had to melt the crayons and I really enjoyed melting the crayons I don't know what happened there was like a monster inside of me that was like yes melt more crayons and so it is a thing crayon melting art and I really wanted to try another piece with just melting the crayons and maybe do like a little silhouette in the middle or something. But the only issue was is that I didn't have any crayons to melt. I don't know where the crayons went from when I did the DIY because there was other colors in there. No idea where the crayons were. We didn't have any crayons here and I just kept forgetting to buy crayons and here we are two months later I finally have crayons so I'm doing a crayon melting canvas board art DIY thing now. So let's do it. <laughs> okay party people for this little art project I am using 9 by 12 canvas panels and this little silhouette thing of a girl holding her umbrella. And then I began the tedious process of cutting this silhouette out. Uh, I kind of just left the hearts out. I didn't want the hearts. I just wanted the girl holding her umbrella. And the reason why I chose this silhouette is because every single time I look up crayon melting art, there's always these cool umbrella silhouettes. So it makes it look like the crayon that's melted is the rain and the silhouette is a person holding the umbrella. I think that's like a basic crayon art picture, you know what I'm saying? Like if you look up crayon melting art, you're gonna see a whole bunch of crayon melting art of people holding umbrellas with melted crayon. It's just basic crayon melting 101 art, you know what I'm saying? Also, my skills with scissors are not very good at all. I kind of messed up the silhouette when I was cutting it out, but it, I wasn't I wasn't striving for perfection here. I just wanted to melt some crayons. So after I cut my silhouette out, I took my mom's hot glue gun and I glued her onto the canvas board so she could stay in place with our favorite form of glue, hot glue. If you know my mom, she loves hot glue, and apparently, I do too now. I got the crayons. It's a 48 pack, okay? Because I knew I wanted to do originally like only blue to resemble rain, but there just wasn't enough blue crayons. So what I'm doing here is I'm organizing the crayons, the the color scheme that I wanted. I was trying to go from like gray to the darkest blue to the lightest blue, but like I said, there just wasn't enough blue. So it ended up being a full rainbow. I added in some purple and then pinks and orange and then I think like the last one I did was red. So I organized my crayons first. I don't know if this is just something I do, okay? Because it was bothering me that they weren't in the order I wanted them to be in. So yeah, that's just me organizing my crayons. It's super efficient, okay? Also, next time you guys buy a box of crayons, check out all of the names of the colors. 
crayon colored names are hilarious, okay? They're just so random and weird. I was having the time of my life reading out the crayon names because they were just funny to me. Is that lame? I don't care. Buy a box of crayons and read the crayon names and laugh at it because they're funny. And then here was another fun part. I didn't want to leave the wrapper around the crayons. I, I wanted I wanted it to look clean, okay? So originally I had been peeling off the crayon paper with my bare hands. And then my mom walked in and was like, what are you doing? She then showed me the ways of an expert DIYer and showed me that if you take a razor blade and cut it down the paper, it makes it a lot easier to get the, the wrapper off the crayon. So, thanks for that expert tip, KB. Really made things go by faster. And after my mom gave me that little razor blade, it did actually make it go by faster. Um, but this was still not... A very fun process. I'm telling you right now, if it wasn't so much fun melting crayons, I, I wouldn't do this again. But it's super fun melting the crayons, so I don't even care. But this was the process that I was doing. I was just slicing, taking the paper off, hot gluing the canvas board, and then pasting the crayons on there. And yeah, the crayons kind of melted a little bit, obviously, because hot glue is hot, but if you put it on the canvas board directly, the crayons don't melt as much. If you put it on the crayon directly, the crayon's gonna melt because hot glue is very hot. So, I, I tried putting it on the crayon once. I know, probably wasn't the smartest thing I ever did, but yeah, put it on the canvas board and then put the crayon on top of the hot glue. It'll stick. I promise. Also, after I glued all the crayons on the canvas board, this really has nothing to do with the, the art project itself. It was just super heavy. Like, crayons glued onto a canvas board? Really heavy. That's my fun fact for the day. And now for the best part of crayon melting. Actually, melting the crayons. I took my mom's heat gun, also known as the ray gun, okay? <laughs> It's not known as a ray gun, that's just what I call it, because I call things weird names sometimes. I took the ray gun and just started melting the crayons. I think you can also use a blow dryer. I think that'll get hot enough too. But this is really the only part that I was looking forward to when doing this project. It's just, for some reason, melting the crayons is so much fun. I don't know what what it is. I'm just a crayon melting monster. It was so much fun melting the crayons. Also, I think it might have been the way that I was holding the heat gun. I was struggling to get the crayons to melt straight down. They kept on moving in different directions, uh, totally my fault, but that was the only thing I really struggled with. It still came out cool looking, so I don't really mind. Also, I kind of got lucky with the way the crayons melted there, because it kind of looked like the rain was coming off the umbrella. So I thought it came out cool regardless. And this is the moment you've all been waiting for, the finished product. Came out pretty cool. I definitely should have put tape or something over the silhouette so the crayon didn't go over the silhouette, like that purple streak there, but I thought for my first crayon melting art, this was pretty cool, okay? I love it. I want to do it again. All right. That is it for today's video. If you liked it, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And leave in the comments down below what you thought of my crayon melting art. This is such a cool idea. I've wanted to do it for so long. I really enjoyed it the last time I did it. And, you know, I thought it was fun. So, maybe I'll try another one. If you want me to try another one. Maybe I can do like a pattern next time. Like a heart or like a flower. Oh, that would be fun. Leave in the comments down below if you want to see me do like a crayon melting art for like a flower. Like if I shape the crayons in a flower and then melt it, 
that would be so much fun. Let me know if you want to see that, and I will totally do it. But, I'll see you guys back here next time.